light here next to the picture of the cartridge. When you need to empty it, that light will come on. If it comes on at night and you're going, oh no, I still got to use it for the night, it's all right. It just means it's you're getting there. It's not quite full, but you need to be thinking about it pretty soon. Okay, so now for the fun job. I know you think you can get through without having to do this your whole trip, but believe me, if you've got a family of four or more, it's likely in a day or two this is going to be getting full because they'll probably be flushing quite a lot more than they should. So try and minimise how much they flush. But there's a limited capacity on the toilet. It's a completely standalone system. Doesn't use any of the water and the other water tanks. Doesn't use the same drains. It's all self-contained. So as I showed you before, how to use the toilet inside. Now when the little red light comes on, it means you've got to do this job. To, do the, to empty the toilet, you unlock it. Open the latch, twist it open, make sure you fold the latch back in. If you leave that open, it will just smack in the caravan and put a chip in it. So just fold that back in, open the door. So make sure no one is gonna use the toilet when this cartridge is out because you're gonna to create yourself a bit of a problem. So to pull this cartridge out, there's a little catch here. You lift that up and you grab the green handle. You basically squeeze it and pull the whole thing out. That's it, like that. Now you can wheel this to a waste disposal in the caravan park. But if it's pretty heavy or gravelly, I recommend just carrying it. It's got a handle at the back as well. Uh, otherwise, these wheels aren't really suited for gravel. Um, when you need to empty it, when you get to the silage point, what you want to do is open that, open that neck. There's a vent button here as well. What you'll do is you'll hold your breath as best as you can. <laughs> you do this part quickly. You undo that lid. Put it down, you hold that by the handle here, like that, by the back with your thumb over it, and that's off. You run in there and you tip it out. You hold that button so it lets air in so it drains a lot faster. When you're done, make sure you turn upside down, shake out anything that <laughs> might still be in there, and then you get away from that dump point as quick as you can. Uh, you grab some water. Pour some water through here, put maybe five litres in, put that back on, give it a good swish around. Same procedure. Hold your breath, undo that, get ready for it, run in there, press the button, dump it, run away, put that lid back on, fold it away, and you're ready to go. Make sure the handle's tucked away, and this is the fill neck. This normally lives right in here, so when you put it away, just put that back in there and slide the cartridge back in until the latch catches. Make sure the latch catches at the bottom because it's not slid all the way in. The seals won't line up and you might have a problem. Now, as I said, this is a self-contained system. So you've actually got its own flush water as well. So I'll show you how to fill that as well. There's a neck just above there that you slide out like this. The, the little funnel I showed you before, you need to get that out so you can fl flip that open, grab that funnel, you undo, undo this lid, this one's clean so you don't have to hold your breath. You touch that funnel, and I'll find, if I tilt it, tip it this way and make it flush with the wall, and push it down, hold underneath because this thing's flimsy, so make sure you hold it when you push that funnel back on. And there's a little pipe here on the right, with a max on there. So you'll fill in here and you want to get it pretty close to the maximum. Don't go over because it'll spill and create mold. It might spill over the top as you drive it. Until you get to the maximum. Make sure you don't lose this funnel when you're done. Put the lid back on. Fold that away. Put the funnel away. Fold that away, and you're done. Unlatch that, give it a push. The rubber's pretty good seal. Close it and lock it. You probably don't have to lock this on. I don't think anyone's gonna be stealing in there, anything in there, but it's probably a good idea to lock it anyway, just in case. 